Hey guys, Malkuth 1974 coming back at you with another mod spotlight. Uh, another in the series of mods that I enjoy to play. So, what we're going to cover today, we're going to cover a mod by Sovereign called Crew Manifest. Or Kerbal Crew Manifest. Current version is version 0.5.11 of this recording. Now what this mod lets you do is it lets you add and remove kerbals from a launched vehicle or uh, anything so if you add say another module uh, crude module to your rocket uh, by default Kerbal Space Program will not add any uh, kerbals to that with this modification you can add it to your rocket and you will be able to add or remove kerbals as you will uh, another good uh, part of this mod is that say your vessel is docked in space with a space station you can use this to transfer crew from spacecraft to spacecraft so without further ado let's get started one of the first things you will notice when you start up Kerbal Space Program is that in the Space Center screen you'll have a little icon up here and what that allows you to do is it allows you to turn permadeath off for your Kerbals. Permadeath means that once they are dead, they are dead and they do not come back. A uh, couple of buttons up here. The top one just moves the actual icon and left and right moves the icon left and right and of course if you select permadeath you can save it and you'll be all set. And welcome to your rocket building. In the older versions of the Kerbal Crew Manifest you actually had a uh, item in your uh, utility section that looked like er, science that looked like the gravmax negative gravity detector that used to be the crew manifest but uh, the new version of crew manifest you do not need to add any type of object to your ship it works on all ve vehicles by default and I'll show you why remember that little icon that I showed you well it changes once you go to the launch pad and right up here you click that and you automatically have your crew manifest. Now, a couple things. So if we, we, uh, this pod, this rocket actually has one, uh, pod. So it's a three man pod and there we are. We got all our, our guys in there. Now one thing you can do is you can remove everybody in there and now there is nobody in there. You can actually, or you can actually just add whoever you want. And that by default will add uh, a random Kerbal to the thing. Uh, say you want to get rid of Desperate Kerbin though. We can actually go to the, instead of just adding a Kerbal, a random Kerbal, we can go to Crew Roster and we can uh, add, add him just like that. The problem with this is I'm using uh, you know a vanilla version so I don't usually use this so I my uh, my list of Kerbals is pretty limited but in the actual, if you have an actual running game, you will have a huge list of Kerbals that you've actually used in your rockets. And some of them will have, uh, you can't add them because they're already in space or, uh, or they're already on a mission. And some of the other ones you can add that are available to you to add. Uh, another cool little feature is that you can actually create a Kerbal now in this newest version of uh, Crew Manifest. You can name them whatever you want. I'll name my guy Malkuth Kerman. You can set his courage, which means he's brave. I'm awfully brave. Uh huh. I would say I'm awfully stupid, but nah. And then we'll make my we'll make me badass. And then we'll go apply. Now we want to remove we'll t remove Kurt, this guy right here, and then we'll add me. And you'll see Malkuth. There I am. Isn't that awesome? There we go. And there you go. Um, if you had another pod in here, I'll show you guys that. I'll just do a silly little thing that you'll never do with a rocket. Say we pull that off. And we'll add that. And that. We'll go to launch. Now I actually have two pods in here. 
If I click on the thing, I'll have my command pod mark three, which is right up here, and I'll have my lander can, which is right there. If we look at the lander can, there are no Kerbals on the lander can, but the command pod has there. This is the main pod of the ship, the one that you started with when the, the ship was built. This is one we just added. If I want to add a couple Kerbals to it, I just go like that, and I go like that, and I have two more Kerbals, and now I have five, and down here you can see them in the list. This is a really, really excellent mod. I actually think they should add this to the actual game, but for right now, it, it is a mod, and that's what we'll have to do. That's what we'll just have to deal with. Uh, crew transfers. Uh, to transfer crews, all you gotta do is be connected, so you have like a nice space station in uh, space. Uh, you just make sure your ship is uh, connected, and all you gotta do is transfer the crew, like what I'm seeing right here. So again, guys. This is the cr the Kerbal Crew Manifest. It's version 0 0.5.1. Uh, it's the current version of this thing, but he keeps changing it, adding new things to it. I remember when this mod first came out, you had to do all the Crew Manifest from outside the game. Now it's inside the game, and now you don't even need a part. Uh, I, perfectly, perfectly awesome mod. You should have it. Nobody should be without this mod. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. This is Malkuth1974. See you later.